Hi, Morris. Hi there, how are you? Uh, could you give me a brief history on the club, how it got started and when it got started? Well, I don't know really the, the date it first started. The ASOC club uh, is a nationwide, in fact, it's worldwide. We have branches in Australia, America and all over the world. Uh, what time it first started, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't tell you. Uh, but uh, I've been active in it for about the last five years and I'm the Midland Area Organiser. And we're quite strong, we've got about 800 members in the country, uh, in, in, in Great Britain alone. And in, the Midlands, and in the Midlands we've got about 45 active members. And, and what kind of cars, all, all cars right across the board? Yeah, they, they range right from a 1904 auto car, Sidley Auto car, right until the last one produced, which is a 1960 Star Sapphire. And that's the last one that was produced. And this, this car here is yours, is that right? This, this car is mine. It's a, it's a 1935 Long 20 limousine Lord Alette with a, with a hood down at the back. And uh, this is a fine example of what they used to do in the 30s. Lovely example. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's very nice. So what kind of condition was it when it came to you? It was in reasonable condition, not quite what it is now, but it was in reasonable condition when it came to me. I've done a lot of work on it, I've had it about five years, so yeah, it's very good. So how do you find the show? Is the show very beneficial to the club? Well, yeah, because it obviously it, it puts the name out, it, the, 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 the name Armstrong Siddeley is not so well known these days. You know, it's gone off the, the top name of people's lips, so people, it puts the, the mark in front of people and makes the public aware of what there is about. What about young members? I mean, the, what I've spoken to a lot of the clubs today is that they're finding difficulty getting young members to, to, to buy the cars because they're now getting quite expensive and the younger members are going for the more modern. I, I think you're right. This is, this, this is a problem, getting young members to buy the cars. Uh, it, it's, it's one of those things. Younger people are bringing up families, got a mortgage and all that type of thing and it's only to like me going to our later years that we suddenly find that the mortgage is paid off and everything else and we can afford these things and we and our family's grown up and i think that is the biggest problem i think it goes throughout the clubs you know with the, with the older clubs and, and i think it's a problem we all have yeah? Yeah, yeah well thank you very much for the interview and i hope the the club prospers thank you thank you thank you